Welcome to our new adventure. My name is Jeremy. My name is Amy. And I'm Sonia. Our videos are going to be about things that we do together as a family and just, you know, trying to preserve a little bit of Vivian growing up. It would be a lot of fun to show you guys what we're doing. We have a lot of family that doesn't, you know, even live in the state. We're probably going to try and upload every other week. As this progresses, uh, we're going to be doing some giveaways. Yeah. So make sure that you're actually liking and subscribing to the channel. As soon as we get 100 subscribers, which is probably far-fetched, but when we get 100 subscribers, we're going to be, uh, you know, considering what we're going to be giving away. It's not going to be a car. Here's our first video, so enjoy. First, we're going to go get some gas. We have to get gas for $1.49. Taco Bell. <laughs> There's the joke for this. <laughs> okay, so on our way to get gas to get the adventure going, we still are not entirely sure, I guess, what the adventure is going to be. First stop or go? I was thinking we go up to Ice House Lake. It's all going to start with probably a little bit of a swim at Ice House Lake. videos we're soon here we're gonna be uh you know, we'll take the truck out taking the truck out it's a huge one for us we love going out into the dirt and just thrashing it up a little bit on the um the adventure preparedness side of things so adventure preparedness is um you know you would think you wouldn't have to talk about such things um but in this day and age it's inevitable because people will literally drive into the woods with no water and no snacks and just, you know, get stuck for three or four days and then come back and be like, I'm really hungry. Even if you're planning um, on just going for like an hour or whatever, just be prepared to stay overnight. Yes, that's what I'm getting at. It's like no matter what happens, be prepared for at least one or two nights. Um, if you have enough material to get yourself through one night, the second night's gonna be a, like really crappy, but mm -hmm. you will have enough material to get yourself through two, maybe even three nights. If you literally bring nothing, you know, like with, for example, without water, in three days you're done. And if you don't have cell reception, if you're walking and it's like the middle of summer, you might be talking like a day and a half without water. Don't forget your water. Don't forget your water. It can get extremely noisy in the back seat if the snack situation is not taken care of. Uh, regardless, um, and we uh, we try to stick to the more healthy snack situations. Nuts, you know, fruit, fruit, trail mix, these um, string cheese, whatever. We have no problem with buying things, you know, like candies and all these things, but everything in moderation. If you put good into it, you're gonna get good out. And if you get it stranded, they will stretch much better than a candy bar. If you bring pistachios, they will you, do yes. much more good than a candy bar or a box of cereal. Very good uh, point to make. Yeah, you don't want to bring hair. <laughs> right there we have Highway 50 over there. You can see it. And it goes through all these little mountains. So we have made quite the, quite the progress. 
That's now we're not doing any hiking today because Jeremy over here is broken. Do you want to tell him what happened? I broke it like a week ago. It's fractured. Let me explain that first. It's not entirely broken, okay? And it's gonna heal, but he skateboards all the time. All the and time. Yeah, it wasn't good. Um, I went the whole week because with COVID and everything, I wasn't going into the emergency room. Um, so I called my doctor. The appointment was set a week out, so I walked on a broken leg for a whole week um, before I even knew it was broken. We are here. We're about, we just turned onto the road. We're about a mile away from the lake. Probably gonna take a little dip real quick before we continue on this adventure. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of little hiking trails in here for when you're a little better. Campground, boat ramp, picnic area. Um, I know that. I look at, oh, look, there's a picker upper. I have a oh rake my gosh. Here. Okay, oh guys, my gosh. We just found a rake and a picker upper. Okay, go to the picker upper. Sonny, you gotta get it. Okay. You guys, we just found a rake. Rake in. Now, picker upper. These are the freaking favorite. best. Oh. Wow, dude. This thing is freaking heavy duty. Jeremy, this is really gonna come in handy with you broken and all right now. Foul. We got our handy dandy disinfectant wipes. Sonia had a Dollar Tree one of these and I just got done snapping it. How do you feel now that we have found the brand new picker upper? This really is the industrial picker upper, Vivian. Today's Thursday, so that's why you're not seeing any boats out on the lake. We want an easy little spot for Jeremy because he's broken. Who broke their leg? Jeremy did. Jeremy broke his leg. Right, so I think we're gonna stop here. We're here, Vivian. <laughs> wow. Is that the river? No, that's just the little stream this... that flows into the lake because the lake doesn't come from nowhere. It... it comes from somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have Crocs, get Crocs. Check it out. Available sport mode. Mm -hmm. So they don't go anywhere when you're in the water. We will put the availability of the sport mode on. Sport mode active. Vivian's Vivian. favorite mode is sport mode. She always has sport mode on. We have finally reached our swimming hole. Yep. Vivian is well on her way to the swimming hole, which means we better start going. Um, on do our you way have any... back, yeah. we're not going through the swimming hole that way. Okay. The, where the lake began, that was a little bit crazy. It was very crazy. You ready to swim, Vivian? Yeah. Got some fishermen out over here. Best of luck to them. Tell me about how excited you are to swim. I'm really excited. Yes. This is magical. That's a magical stick? Yeah. And look at that, it floats. It's magical. A poop trick. A hoosh trick. Oh, a hoosh trick. That's a that's a pretty good trick. I'm pretty impressed. It's a hoop trick. Any more tricks, Vivian? Dolphin trick. It's a jump dolphin trick. We should go to those odds. All of those odds. 
so I'm just sitting here. Look it up. And Sonia and Vivian are way out there, okay? Sonia and Vivian are really far out there. Check it out. Like, that's as far as it'll let me zoom in, unfortunately. They are really far out there. Maybe they're turning around now. I'm not quite sure, but... A couple little ants over there on the hillside now. And she's coming back, finally. I can't believe it. All right, so we've been at the lake for, what do you think, probably an hour? Mm -hmm. And Vivian has swam the entire time. Probably going to try a different route to get back to the car because the first one was kind of the rapids, yes. I guess you could say. We had an excellent time swimming. Vivian got plenty of tricks in. So we just got done at Ice House and now we are back on, what road is this? I think this is Ice House Road, this is just the road that, you know. That we took to the lake and yeah. um, we're it's gonna go about. back to where it wise and then we're gonna go up to Wright's Lake and find a little spot to eat some lunch. Just continue enjoying our time out here in the great outdoors. I think Vivian swam the entire time. Now she's ready for lunch, huh Vivian? 11N37 is our uh, road, road number. Name here. Yeah. We're at our first tee. We've got dirt that way and we've got a little asphalt this way. We are in the family car. This is road 12N99 that we're going to go ahead and go down. We're starting to hit more granite than um, dirt. little road here we're, we're really still trying to find a place to eat lunch geez jeremy over here thinks we're driving in his pickup you can hear everything rattle in the truck well and the suspension's soft in the like, truck is the steering wheel gonna fall off or right. is, is it, it is it okay yeah. i'm sure. getting really hungry i'm about to go bite that tree right there might be lost don't know yet. What is, what is that? Is that an obstruction in the road? Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We're going to be doing a little bit of off roading off of the off road. Oh, nice. Okay. Ass of crisis averted. We made it out of that one. Oh. Yes! Yes! We have made it! Woohoo! Well, Sonia's got our beautiful little picnic blanket set up in front of the most beautiful area ever. We have goldfish, goldfish for Vivian. Sandwiches. Pistachios, Pistachios apples, carrots, carrots. And some trail mix. Nice! Okay. Well, let's enjoy our... Uh, Beautiful view and wonderful food. Well, that's over. There's a mosquito in my ear, so we're gonna eat in the car. Go rolling. <laughs> one day we're gonna make a video of getting out to that, uh, whichever one we can get to. Up there somewhere. But, um, one day. Highway 50, you can see it down there. It's very up, far away. Pretty far up here. in traffic Looking happens over. every time on um, what they're doing they will never be done working on this road. it is a weekday so maybe they actually are working today i sure hope so <laughs> And 
now we're at Sizzlers. That's where we're gonna end the day. Get some food in our belly, some stuff, sustenance. Face mask required. What do you mean you need a mask? No shoes, no shirt, no mask, no service. We're here at Wally's. Yeah. And it's the end of a productive day. Sizzler was a no-go. No-go. They wanted you to wear a mask while you were eating food. I can't believe it. So... We're here, we're hoping this place is going to do us straight, and that will probably wrap it up for today.